welcome to programming. This is video number 22. In this video I'll try to um, show you how to get started with an engine in NetBeans. By the way, NetBeans is a game library for Android. So I assume that you have Android SDK and Android plugin installed in NetBeans and you know how to install the JDK. If you want to start it from scratch, I recommend you to go through my videos on my channel. That is, um, it's that one, or well, well, that YouTube.com. That, uh, where you can search for programming, and then on the very first videos, this one, the first one will show you how to install the JDK. You can download it from the Oracle website and the second one will show you how to install NetBeans manually doesn't matter well, what version you want to use you can follow the video and get it set up now though apart from those two videos you're gonna need to um, install the Android SDK create a new virtual device and install plugin for NetBeans. It's in this video how to inst how, how to install Android plugin for NetBeans. Let's go back to what I, what you would have to do to get started with the engine in NetBeans. The first thing, of course, you're gonna need to start your NetBeans. Mine's right here. and you can go ahead and create a new project now let me show you how to make a new one or oh, I can just delete this one and show you from the beginning how to start a new project you would have to select the Android it's the Android category and then select the Android project click on next and then Give it a name. An engine game. Then give it a package name. Name your main activity. Let's call give it the same name. Select the platform. It's not empty, so we just go with an engine game. Let's call it a new name then. I just call it and a game that should be fine now click on finish get rid of the error you will need this anyway so just comment it out and then you should be fine if you run it cl click on there it will start up the Android emulator and then try to push the application onto this machine. N now, the next step is to download the Android An Engine library, the jar file, into this project. So let's go to the web and then go to the wiki page of the an engine. So that's wiki.anengine.org. If you go there and click on the main page, this is what you're gonna get. Then you go to the first 
item in the list that is um, the current jar and the source file if you click on that you can uh, go to this page which you will have a link of the android.jar and engine.jar file sorry in the, from the dropbox you can right click on it and save the link and you should go to your current project and then go to subdirectory called lips and save it there One that's, once that's done you're gonna need to um, write your own game for the end engine now there are some example in there that you can use by the way you need to go to the end engine example project from the google code you can search for it by putting an engine example google code it should be the first one in the link so if you click on that you will come uh, you, you will stop by here and let's find a cool one that we can use um, let's pick the cool one particle system cool example let's see how cool that is so we're going to be grabbing all of this anyway if you want to start your own game you should create a new class of yours and then let's see how to try it you should be creating a game extend on base base game activity so you don't need that one and that one now get rid of the animate that in there you should anyway create implement all the abstract method in there that should be that should work fine for you and you can start from that if you want to create your own game but then I have selected that I should be using the particle system cool so I'm gonna be grabbing all of these and then put it in here now there are a couple of incorrect class so the magic would uh, you should we should fix it with fix import there's a bunch of classes that you can select from anyway you should you shouldn't be using the um, default camera from the Android library so you're gonna be using the camera from the N engine that's what you pick and then this one it should be the one from the particle and that one should also be the one from the particle if I'm not mistaken and click OK you will be all set and ready now this we're still missing some some of the set the images that we are gonna be using for the particle as a particle so that it's called particle fire not PNG so that should be inside a directory called GFX so let's create a new directory 
by the way I'm in the uh, file tab so right click on the project and create new author and a folder we're gonna be calling that tfx and in there we will put particle fire the png we're gonna need to grab that from the example website let's go back to hatch a and then let's set tfx Whoa. we should be having tfx inside a directory called sets now let's fix that so let's create a new again new folder call set and drag that one into let's set let's make up the directory like that then inside that we should have What's the name again? Uh, particle fire PNG. So let's uh, grab particle P, particle fire, not PNG. The raw file. We should save that inside set dfx and then save ok we should be fine with that now let's go back to netbeans there should be mm, that um, good looking particle fire I suppose so since we don't have any error in the code, we we'll just go ahead and click start. Try to run it. Is there anything wrong in there? Shouldn't there be... Oh... Particle engine in there. No? <coughs> Let's um, make the camera a little bit bigger. I don't know what my setting for the... Uh, Android platform is so let's do this let's um, restart the Android SDK now we're gonna be rebuilding this and hopefully we, when we run it we'll be able to see the effect The emulator is not running right now. Yeah, it's kind of slow. Is it running? Okay, it's deploying trying to ah right so that's the effects
particle cool effects from example of Android SDK, Android Engine dot jar. Um, those guys has done a particular uh, particular great job on the engines. Anyway, this I hope this video helps you um, on getting start developing game using the N engine. Uh, as the platform for Android device that you want to create it and again with NetBeans you can do that hope this is a good video to watch I don't know what to say okay um just want to say goodbye now and thank you for watching